I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. Hi, YouTube fam. Today we are going to do a full sweat workout. It's part of our Home Bodies program. This is Nate, and he can explain a little bit more about what we do every day. In our Home Bodies training program, we have essentially four different modes of training that we get into day in and day out. One of them is sweat, lean, strong, and then flexing. We don't do sweat by death of burpees, jumping jacks, and, and just like wreak havoc on our joints, all right? We really try to implement a full spectrum approach to our fitness, all right? So, we can go ahead and expect some complexes in there, all right? I mix in some strength complexes to really jack up that heart rate and, and boost our metabolic rate throughout that entire training session. So, hope you guys enjoy this one. It's gonna be a blast. Woo! I wanna go ahead, drag just one of those dumbbells out, please. Set it just right about at the front of the mat. Let's have it long ways. You can set that other dumbbell right off to the side for now. I just wanna lead off some like, kind of like jump ropes. All right, I just wanna get some toe taps on the front of that dumbbell. Try to get up on the balls of your feet. Nice and easy here. You take those nice and slow to start. Get those knees up just high enough. Tap those toes down. Right on top of that bell. Let those arms hang. Kind of loosey goosey. Shake them out. Nice deep breath in your nose. Out your mouth again. You're up on the balls of your feet here. Alright, don't let those heels come crashing down. Light feet, light feet, light feet. Give me ten. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very good. Now, let's go ahead. I want to drop down into a plank. I want to drop down into that plank strategically where that dumbbell is about six to eight inches in front of our hands. So, go ahead, slide those palms down, boom, about eight inches, maybe a foot if you're real strong. From here, grab the floor, alternate, finger taps now. Tap, tap. Just like we were with those toes. From that push up plank, just be nice alternating tap on that dumbbell. Tight. Nice, tight, tight core. Squeeze those abs. Keep that butt in line with your ears. Woo! Now, straight from this push up plank. Don't go anywhere. I just want to drop into a deep right leg lunge in three, two, one. Give it a nice deep right leg lunge. Now sit down. Drop that back knee. Roll that back toe. Nice and deep. Really try to think about this flexion that you're creating with this front knee. Trust me, you would say it out nice and you would tell me stack nice and far out over that ankle. Alright, drive that heel down to be four. I like to plant my palm on top of my knee here. Give it a little bit more tension. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but Let's go ahead and plant those palms back down in that plank, and we're going to lunge forward. Other side. Sit down nice and deep, knee down, roll that toe back. Nice deep breath in through your nose, out your mouth. We're going to go back into that push-up plank. From that push-up plank, we're going to go right back into those finger taps, all right? If, if you'd like, you can bring those fingertips just a little bit further back as you're getting a little bit more warm. Walk them back. Just a tad. Let's go right to it. Boom. Tap right to the top there. Do not be... Overextending, all right? Again, squeeze those abs down. Don't sacrifice that distance from the dumbbell. And then have a saggy butt. Saggy butts are not sexy. Now, give me another 10 seconds. After this 10 seconds, we're gonna keep our palms planted. And then we're just gonna inch 
our toes to our palms and stand in five, four, three, two, one. Inch toes to palms, nice and easy. Drive those fingertips down, roll up onto those fingertips, stiff legs into the floor. Still that up. Nice and slow. I'm gonna get those feet moving again on those toe taps. Give me three, two, one. Let's go. Get those going. Nice deep breath. Again, shake those, shake those shoulders out. Get those feet going a little faster if you'd like. We're all athletes here. Give me ten. Eight, six, five, three, two, one. Very good. Kick those out. Stand up nice and straight. Pull one. One leg up. Quad stretch, please. Center yourself. Find that balance. Find that stability. Nice and control here. Hit that other leg, please. The other great thing about working out the day after an active recovery day or the day that you really smoked some mobility, stretched a lot, your muscles don't need nearly as long get primed and fired up and warmed up before you can kind of jump into the workout. So that's always excellent. You should be feeling much less stiff, achy, kind of roll out of bed and be ready to go. All right, let that one down. I want to go ahead and stretch out your, your shoulder. For the victory lap though. Now from here, we're going to be working a little bit of standing movements. We're going to get our, our fingertips back behind our head. And we're going to do some marching knee drives. Let's hit that other arm. Standing upright, alternating knee to elbow marching. It looks like so. Right, right to left. Right. Just, just marching straight down the center for now. Keep those fingertips back behind that head. Give me a nice tight crank. I am cranking with my obliques. All right. I'm cranking my knee to my elbow. I'm not cranking my neck to my knee. Try to keep that neck. Nice and neutral. Pull those shoulder blades back. Nice upright posture. Give me another ten. Nine. Seven. Five. Three. Two. One. Good. Keep those hands up high here. Nice deep breath. Open up your chest. Fill those lungs with oxygen. Go ahead and kick those feet just to the edge of your yoga mat. Just outside of shoulder width. Now with those fingertips back behind your head, let's work right into good mornings. We're just hinging straight over here. Push those hips right back. Slight, slight bend in those knees. Drive through your heels. No rounding the back. Exactly, no rounding that back. Essentially, that's why we have those fingertips interlocked behind our head, all right? That's that's to kind of that's kind of like preventative measures to keep your spine in a neutral position. Load up those glutes, load up those hands. Give me 10. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. 
Very good. Shake it out. Let's go ahead. Get that dumbbell into play. I like to, I like to work um, long ways on my mat for this. All we're gonna do, we're gonna be working a alternating hinge with a side step. All right, actually I said alternating. What I mean, we'll just be doing one side at a time here, all right? So, what I want you to do, just pick up the dumbbell, one hand, all right? Stiff leg, just like we're gonna do a deadlift, all right? I have the bell in my right hand. I wanna hinge, cross body. Now, whenever I stand up, I'm gonna step over with my right side. Whenever I step over with my right side, that bell is going to finish at my chest, give me a squat, and a press. Back to the center. Cross deadlift, stand it up, side step. Bell comes to your chest, squat, press, recover. Cross body deadlift, side step, that clean, and press. Break them down, totally Barney style. Building blocks here, side step, chest, press overhead. Only working on this one side, all right? We're isolating each side erectors. Now, all you need to think about is, in order to go into that squat, you need to side step, open up your hips, so you can drop your butt all the way down, bring it back down the center. Lift, load up the posterior, load up the hamstrings, side step, press over. Keep them going. We should be able to do a movement like this for a while. We're shifting that tension all over our body. We have a lot of different muscles firing up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, that is one. Go ahead, switch those hands. Same exact thing, other side. We're going right to work here. Hinge it over, you get that dead lift. We sidestep other leg, get that bell to your chest, press overhead, and reset. Cross body dead lift, side step, get it to your chest, press overhead. Now, just because we're working I mean, I'll consider that a unconventional deadlift, all right? Just because we're working an unconventional deadlift does not mean our movement standards go out the window, all right? Everything still stays the same. We have a slight, slight bend in those knees. We're loading up our hamstrings and our glutes. This arm stays long. You're stepping over, you're painting the shins, all right? Whenever you drop in that deadlift, Keep that belt nice and close, Keep the shins. Give me 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, that is one. Grab that bell, both hands now. We're not done, just to break that sweat. All we're going to do is gonna get easier. We're going to hinge over. You're going to give me a row from that deadlift. You're going to stand it up. Bell to your chest, press overhead. Long arms, pinch it over, row from the deadlift. Stand it up, lean press. Pinch it over, give me that row from the deadlift. Stand it up, bell stays close, lean press. Right here, pinch over, elbows stay tight, row, stand it up, lean press. Keep that bell nice and close, moving straight up your body. We warmed up by making each side work individually. Now, we get to have your erectors working together. Give me another 15 seconds. This is why I said, go modest with your weight. Have something that you don't have trouble hanging on to for long periods of work. Give me five, four, Three, two, that is one, very good. Let's go ahead, set that dumbbell down at the center. Let's go ahead, cross, cross one leg over the top. All right, I wanna work a little bit of a front hamstring fold here. Offset those hips. Wake up every morning with drive. Been on the grind, know I had 
had to survive, we had to win. Started from the dirt and the rubble. I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble, letting the air out, walking with a clear route. How we gon' rise today? I'm making mine today. Man, let's yours. stand that up. The show's over. I have one more. Oh, I have one more standing single dumbbell movement to, to get through. Again, just like we just did, it's gonna be another building block pattern. All right. From there, we're gonna work into some body building or some uh, some body weight sets. By now, we should have at least a little bit of a sweat breaking. Heart rate should be up nice and high. Out. We're gonna get back to working uh, long ways on our mat, right? Again, going back to one side working at a time. Here. So we're just gonna hold that dumbbell one side, suitcase hold. Now, I have that dumbbell on my right side. That means my right leg is working. All I'm going to be doing here, I'm gonna open, open up, step back, lunge, stand it up. Open up, step back, lunge, stand up. Notice this dumbbell should stay long, all right? I'm loosey-goosey, loose with that dumbbell, all right? I don't wanna be having it all hyped up here and trying to control it. Let this shoulder hang. You don't want that tension in your neck or your shoulders, all right? Let it hang. You can kinda of grip that dumbbell pretty loose with your hands, all right? You don't need to blow up your forearms on it. Your, your glutes and hamstrings should be handling the, the brunt of this, all right? Now, Five seconds, we're gonna sit down into this lunge. Three, two, one. Sit down into the lunge. Stack up nice and high. Set that dumbbell down. I want everybody to use this time. Fix your stack. Notice, I have my back knee in a perfect line. Nice parallel, 90 degree angle. I have my toe dug into the floor. Hips stacked up nice. I'm not all crooked, crunched under, nothing. Sit up high, pull your shoulder blades back. Now, from here, we're gonna use this opening under this leg to swing that dumbbell under, pendulum, and then a high row. Swing that bell under, pendulum, with a high row. Nice and controlled. Now, as you swing that bell up under those, those knees, if your if your stack is not engaged, if your core is not tight and engaged, you're gonna notice yourself kind of swinging, falling off balance. That's why I had to set that bell down. Fix your stack. Make sure everything's tight and turned on. Nice 90 degree angles. 90 degree angles are nice to stack on. Another five. Three. Two. That is one very good. Set that bell down. Make your way to our feet. We're gonna hit the other side. Same exact way. Three, two, one. Step back, lunge. Open leg. Open leg. Open up that space with that reverse lunge. Again, that, that hand that's holding the dumbbell, you are not shrugged up to your ear. Let that arm hang long. Keep them going right here. Nice, deep lunge steps. The deeper that you can get that lunge, the more you can turn on these glutes and hands. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Sit down into that high lunge. Again, fix that stack up, set the dumbbell down, make sure it's nice. Your hips are placed forward. We're just bring that bell up under, hips in three, two, one. Pendulum swing under, nice high. Scarecrow pull, all right? Use that momentum that you create up under that knee to really get that elbow high like a scarecrow. Control each direction here. Keep them going. Keep that midline tight. If your abs turn off, you're gonna start swaying. Maybe five, four, three, two, that is one, very good. Go ahead, we can stay down low here. All right, we're gonna work a little bit of body weight sets here. We're gonna start pretty easy and build our way up. I want everybody, make your way into a four point stance. I want knees, toes, planks to the floor. Drive your palms down to the floor. Wrists stacked up under your shoulders, knees stacked up under your hips. 
we're gonna thrust right arm forward, left leg back, full extension, and we're gonna pull them through with a bird dog. Looks like so. Right here, just stop right at the center. Full kick, stop at the center. Drive, drive those shoulder blades up behind those ears. Just tap that palm down right at the bottom under your shoulders, all right? Lock that glute up top on that bird dog kick. Flex that butt cheek. Keep everything nice and long. Push that tension through your fingertips all the way back towards those toes. Look at the floor, give me a nice Superman. Get that shoulder up behind those ears. Give me five, four, three, two, that is one, plant down, fix your stack. Exact same thing, other side in three, two, one, pull, flex out, pull right down the center. Keep that knee floating. You can kind of tap that palm down right under those shoulder blades. Keep your balance, but I would like that knee to stay floating whenever you bring it back through the center line. Thrust that shoulder up nice and far. Full extension, tension through those fingertips to your toes. Give me five, four, three, two, that is one. Very good. Quick breather. We are going to go right back to the right side, the side that we started on. And I'm going to have us fully extend our shoulders and legs out and we're going to hold and we're going to we're going to build off of our bird dog stack. If you've not been getting your basics down correctly, this next movement is going to be challenging. I want everybody to watch and then fall right in. We're going back to the first side, right and left. We're gonna stick it and hold. Now, right and left, bring them out wide. Bring them back, bring them under. One side only, let's go. Flex them up. Your arm and leg goes outboard together. Bring them back center, back down. Fly forward, crank out and wide, control, boom. Bring them back on that outside fly. It is going to be a lot of tension through those hip flexors and obliques and your erectors, all right? This is going to require a lot of muscles turning on. Do not let your shoulder or your leg drop down. Give me five, Woo! four, three, two, one. Very good. Plant down. We're going to do the same exact thing, other side. If you've been taking all of that adductor strength work seriously that we've been doing, it's all gonna come into play here. Three, two, one. Full flex forward, stick it, rotate out board, and bring it back. Control, show me stability, show me balance, show me control. Nice. All the way back down center. Fill your lungs with oxygen. Give me five, four, three, two. That is one. Very good. From here, on this four point stance, you feel real nice. Just go ahead and drive those palms into the floor. I'm going to go ahead and shoot your hips back. Sit into a child's pose. Loosen up those shoulders a little bit here. Once we come out of this child's pose, we're going to be getting right to work on our first complex. All right, we're going to be getting both dumbbells into play now. All right. Both dumbbells into play here. Now, we've been hitting a lot of sprawls with a single dumbbell, all right? I like to work movements in the bottom of a squat position from these sprawls. Now, we're gonna do it with double dumbbells, all right? The way it's gonna work, we're gonna do two for one bicep curl sprawls, all right? The way it's gonna work, we're gonna stand these dumbbells up, 
just to start, all right? Just so I can kind of talk us into the positioning that we're gonna be into. All right, let's go ahead, deadlift these dumbbells down to the floor, set them down. From here, I want to kick back into that sprawl. Whenever we shoot our hips forward, I want those feet outside of your dumbbells. Get those dumbbells airborne, drive your glutes in. You're going to give me two bicep curls. Boom, plant those bad boys, shoot back, plant here, curl, let's go. Get right after it. Give me those nice, tight, double bicep curls. Now, it is important, stack up nice and tight in this bottom position. Drive those heels to the floor. Notice, our heels are planted to the floor, all right? Knees tracking out with our ankles. Nice tight bicep curls. Keep that chest up. Keep it up. Come on. Give me another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, that is 1. Set those dumbbells down. This is the complex I was talking about. No rest here. Get those palms to the floor. No dumbbells. Just keep them planted in a nice position. Mountain climbers in three, two, one. Let's go. One. Get those feet going on those mountain climbers. Drive right, your palms down. Stiff arm the floor. Drive those knees. This is that sweat set. Woo! Get after it. Come on. Keep those knees going. Give me 10, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. From that mountain climber, it's going to feel nice just to drop to our knees here. All right, palms down to the floor. Bring those dumbbells into play. We're going to keep our knees planted to the floor so we have that going for us. I want you to go ahead, walk your knees back just a little bit outside of a full plank. All right, now from here, what it did, opened up a little bit of space for us. We're gonna do a two for one combination row, bicep curl. We're gonna pick one arm, one arm only. Get that belt up. Give me two rows, one, two. On that second one, bicep curl. Two rows, one, two, second one, bicep curl. Two rows. One bicep curl. Keep that tension tight here, all right? If you get lazy with that arm that is thrusted into the floor, it's gonna close that gap, and then you're gonna be dropping that dumbbell onto the floor. Keep that dumbbell floating, all right? The dumbbell that you're rowing and curling, keep it floating. Five, four, three, two, that is one. Set that bell down. Other side, right to work in three, two, one. Double row, one and two. Give me that bicep curl. Double row, one, two, bicep curl. One, two, bicep curl. Come on. Blow these arms up here. This is where we build that lean muscle. We work those muscles while that heart rate is jacked up. Give me five, four, three, two. That is one, very good. We can go ahead, set those dumbbells right off to the side, please. From here, our last movement of this complex. We're going right up into a high plank. We are going to get our feet outside of shoulder width. Let's go ahead. Feet outside shoulder width. From here, I want to tuck my chin, reach through toe tap, pull back, reach through toe tap. Right here. Drive, drive that butt up nice and high into a pipe. Tuck that chin, press the floor away from you with that one hand pull back. Swiveling and rotating on those toes. Notice as we pull back into this plank, your butt is not sagging below those ears. I want you to pull back into that high pipe position and I want you to squeeze those abs. Lock your glutes into place. Do not let them sag below your ears. Give me 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, 
three, two. That is one very good. Woo. Quick breather here. Sit up nice and tall, suck oxygen. From here, let's go ahead and stretch out our triceps a little bit. So kick one, one arm up, back side of your head, a little bit of pressure on the back of that elbow. That, that arm that you're stretching, that palm should be facing inboard, kind of planted against the back of your shoulder blade. A little bit of tension. Let's go ahead, switch arms there. Now, as we're finishing up, stretching out this tricep, buckle up because we're working right through another complex, all right? This is our time to really build that lean muscle. Focus in on that, all right? After this complex, it's gonna be smooth sailing for the rest of this workout. Easy stuff, all right? Just mentally start preparing and be ready to work, all right? Stay with us, try to stick the pace with us. All we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up both of these dumbbells, we're gonna hold them at our side at suitcase. We're gonna get up into a nice, high kneeling stack, all right? I'm just, I'm just getting my knees back a little bit so I have enough room to move forward on my, on my mat. The way we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing alternating step ups with a thrust, all right? We have the added weight in there. So, that added weight, if it's a little too tense on the knees, don't be afraid to toss the towel down or, or roll the back of your mat up as long as you're not like tripping on it or some crap. Um, but that's it if you need it, all right? Let those dumbbells hang nice and long. Now, we get that forward step, we got nice thrust up top. Keep that balance, drop right back into that lunge. Alternate that leg, drive and thrust, drop right back into that lunge. I want you to control, control that knee down to the floor. Control it. Nice, tight, step up, bring it back down. Swish that leg, nice, tight, step up, back down. These complexes, are so awesome, really ramping that heart rate up. But what we can do is we can transfer that energy from low body to upper body. He's going in 10 seconds. We are all going to stop in the standing. Those dumbbells go nowhere. Get comfortable, hold on to them. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody full standing here. Alternating, curl to press. Bell to your chest, press overhead. Other arm, bell to chest, press overhead. <sighs> nice and easy here. We have this movement to do with the dumbbells. In 15 seconds, we set these dumbbells down and we go through a body weight set. <sighs> Keep them going. Let's go. Let's go. Don't put them down. Not now. Six, five, four, three, two. That is one. Set the dumbbells right off to the side. Don't get freaking comfortable though. What we are going to do, we are going to go up into a pike push up. So go ahead and bring those palms in nice and close to your knees. Drive your toes down. We're gonna shoot our butt up nice and high. We're going to do a pike push-up. Inchworm, walk out, push-up. Sounds like a lot. Drive your butt up high, drive those toes in. Meet me in the pike. Give me that push-up. Now, inch out, bottom. Give me that push-up here. Walk back. Now, give me that pike press. Walk out, inchworm. Give me that push-up. Chest down on that push-up. Whenever you walk out, I really want you to think about that location of your butt. Keep that butt in line with your ears. Drive those elbows in, 45 degrees. Let's go. Keep them going. Stay with us. Then give us 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and it's one. Very good. Last 
movement. Coming up here, we're going to finish out hardest movement of the entire set, full body movement. We have mountain climbers on track. I want both dumbbells into play here. You're gonna stack up in that high plank. We're going to alternate row with alternating knee. Way it's going to look, I'm gonna row with my right, I'm gonna drive my left knee. I'm gonna row with my left, drive my right knee. Alternate back and forth, right to left, left to right. Control, I know, I know that we're tired. Right now is the most important time to really hone in on your movement standards, all right? Control, control that bell down to the floor. Control your hips. Take note, where are they? Keep them in line with those ears. Keep that elbow nice and close to your body. Stiff arm the floor. Come on, give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, that is one. Very good. Set those dumbbells off to the side. I want everybody, arms behind the head. Sit up nice and high, big deep breaths for me. We're gonna make our way to the seated position here. This is where we finish our workout. All right, same way we've been doing everything, complex style. Don't expect anything less now, all right? This is just the more, the more fun stuff, all right? It's a little less daunting than being in a high plank and doing sprawls, burpees, you know, uh, what have you. Mountain climbers, nobody likes doing that crap. But, go ahead, set one dumbbell up on its head at the front of your mat, please. Let's go ahead, keep that other one right here at your hips, all right? Building blocks. Also, humans learn through consequences. If your dumbbell's up high here, you got a nice hardwood floor, you're gonna pop a dent in it if you get loose and you knock it over with your heels. What I wanna do, get those heels nice and long, all right? We're gonna use that dumbbell as our target. Let's go ahead and drive those palms down to the floor behind those hips. Nice full extension here, all right? Sit yourself up, let's swing those hips over side and side. If you don't trust yourself too much, you can sit those hips back a little bit and just kind of use that dumbbell as a target, all right? It's like a mock target. If you get too low, you're not actually gonna knock it over. Person, me personally, I need consequences, all right? Keep them going, point those toes. Try to make those heels leap the floor at the same time. Stay nice and tight, breathe. Your muscles need oxygen, do not hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, that is one, very good. Just for the time being, go ahead, set that dumbbell over on that side, so we don't knock it over by accident. But, while it's over on its side, we can still have our heels uh, float over the top of it. We're gonna get this dumbbell into play now. We're gonna, we're gonna float those heels right up above that dumbbell. We're going to do Russian twists with this dumbbell, all right? Get into that nice stack here, point those toes, let's work. Nice weighted Russian twist here. Control, tap the side of that dumbbell down to the floor, do not slam it. Nice controlled tap. If you need to make it more challenging, boom, swing that bad boy out and around. The larger you make that range of motion, the harder it's gonna be, the more taxing it's gonna be on your core. Keep them going. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Very good. Quick breather. Now, both dumbbells come into play now. Bring them back to your hips here. This is where we finish. We're gonna be finishing on our backs, right? We've got a set of a set of glute bridges, all right? While we're stabilizing in a chest press position, and then we're gonna finish out with a large set of chest presses, all right? So, I'm gonna fatigue our chest before we actually get to start pressing. Let's get those dumbbells locked in up top as we walk ourselves, Barney style, into this position, all right? I have my shoulder blades dug into the floor. 
dumbbell stiff arm locked in here. All right. I want them stacked just above my chest. All right. Check yourself. I don't want them too far forward, and I definitely don't want them too far back. Stiff arm them right above your chest. Now, drive those heels down right at your butt. Thrust your glutes up high as if you're doing a glute bridge. Now, we're going to work glute bridges. Let's go. Those dumbbells go nowhere. Dumbbells stay stacked. Drive those heels down to the floor. Pop those hips nice and high. Control. Check those dumbbells. Where are they? Do not let them sway forward or back. Definitely don't let those elbows bend. Lock them in. We're going to hold those hips up high and we're going to burn out chest presses in three, two, one. Lock hips up. Let's press right here. Now, now, the same way that I had us checking in on our chest on those dumbbells while we're doing those hip raises. The same thing goes here. We're stabilizing those hips and glutes up top in that bridge. Check in, squeeze your butt cheeks. Can they go any higher? Squeeze them higher. Naturally, we might have sagged a little bit. Squeeze them higher, keep working the chest, squeeze your butt cheeks. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that is one, very good. Control those dumbbells down to the floor. Now, let's all make our way to that pancake stretch. Kick those feet out nice and wide. Sit down the center here. Open up those hips, loosen up those hammies. Shift that tension wherever feels nice for you. All right, you kind of rotate side side. back, arms straight out to the side, both palms forward. Now from here, I just want to reach over, under, over, under. Ring out the washcloth from this pancake position. Nice and controlled here. One palm under, one palm over. This would have been impossible for me to do for glory, I'm a strong winner. We are going to finish with palms forward in three. Two, palms forward, I want you to fly all the way up overhead, pull back down. Keep those palms facing forward the entire time. Pull them all the way up overhead, back down. Notice, where are your arms at? Are they tucked back behind your ears? If you can keep those arms tucked back behind your ears while holding this straddle, keeping that chest up nice and tight, that low back tight, that's excellent posture, all right? If not, hey, you got something to work on. Give me five, four, Three, two, and just one. Let's ease our way out of that pancake. I want to finish out giving the giving the forearms and wrists a little bit of love here. All right, spread those fingertips out, keep them facing forward. A little pressure side side here. Rotate that tension around on your palms. You can walk those fingertips around wherever you're feeling tight. Ultimately, what I like to always think about is trying to, trying to mobilize my joints in every direction possible, all right? It's like a hinge. If you got a hinge on a door that only opens like a quarter of the way every day for years and years and years and it's exposed to a lot of different elements you know that that range of motion in the hinge 
is only going to stay active the one the one de- the, the, the same degrees that you open it every single day. The same goes with our our joints, all right? Our, so just like that hinge, they'll get rusty and creaky if you do not swing those hinges open at full range of motion day in and day out. That's why we have flex. Interlock those fingers, give some nice rolls. Back into this. That is it for today, guys. Thank you for coming in, getting sweaty with us. Have a good day. Eat protein. And drink lots of water. Drink lots of water. Cheers.